Here are the eight changes that you might experience during puberty. Hi, I'm Dr. Nigat, an NHS GP with a specialist interest in women's health. Now, the first thing that you might experience are your breasts will develop and grow, and not always at the same rate as one another. So it's completely normal to have one breast bigger than the other. Developing breasts can feel quite tender. As your breasts start to develop, it's a good idea to start getting fitted for a comfortable bra or a support top to help with that breast tenderness that you're experiencing. Your height can increase suddenly as you experience growth spurts during puberty or you may grow more gradually than your peers it's also completely normal the other thing that happens is your body shape now this can become rounded especially for girls around the hips around the waist and around the legs this is also completely normal hair will develop in your armpits and your pubic region which might become a bit of a shocker for you but again this is completely normal and the rest of your body hair such as in your arms and your legs particularly may become thicker it's also normal to get a little bit of hair your face this is normal for women and girls to happen as your hormones fluctuate through puberty sweat increases in volume through puberty and it might be the first time you notice yourself sweating this can cause body odor and that can be really embarrassing right but actually it's really simple to keep yourself clean and fresh at this point vaginal discharge is a thin clear or whitish fluid that you might notice in your knickers this is a completely natural secretion and the reason that we get this at the time of puberty is it helps to to keep your vagina healthy and prevents infection. Skin can start to feel drier, or as in my case, as you can see, a bit oily, <laughs> as hormones levels fluctuate. Now you may experience outbreaks of spots either around your periods or through the month. Acne is a more serious and persistent outbreak of spots that can last beyond puberty. The other thing that a lot of us don't like to talk about are periods. At the time of puberty, periods are a sign that your uterus is preparing for reproduction, although it might be decades before you decide to have children, if you ever do. Now, the reason we get periods is because you haven't fallen pregnant and the lining of the womb comes away, and this results in a monthly bleed. Now, there are a range of products that you can use to help manage the flow and also be comfortable during this time. If you want to know more about the changes that you'll experience around puberty I cover a whole load in my book the knowledge your guide to female health from menstruation to the menopause eight eight <laughs> sorry <laughs> I can't do my maths